Hey, hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to put Linux on your PS3. Alright, I'm going to have tons of links in the description on how to do all this. So I'm just going to get started by saying, um, uh, uh, there's a file that you need to get, obviously, Linux file. It's Ubuntu. So, um, I'll have that link. But anyway, what you have to do first is you have to, um, go over and you're going to have to format, um, uh, you're gonna have to format your utility, and but you're gonna have to back up pretty much everything because you never know what's gonna get deleted. So you're gonna have to pretty much back up everything. I, I backed it all up on a USB device, like all your save data because uh, online stats and all that is gonna go to the save data. So just copy everything. If you have a external hard drive, that's great. Use that. Um, but if not, then you can buy like a four gig um, memory stick that I have for like 15 bucks. But you're gonna have to back it up. You're also going to need a USB keyboard and mouse because you cannot go through the Linux setup with the PS3 controller. You're going to need that. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to format this, the utility. And when you do this, it's not going to delete everything, so you can keep going on. You're going to do custom right here. And then you're going to allot 10 gigs right there in the middle for other OS. And I've already done this, so I'm going to... I'm not gonna do that step, and that's a partition, and that's what it, that's what the um, it's gonna install to. So you're gonna have to uh, do that. All right, and another thing you have to gonna get is um, an ISO image burner for the Ubuntu. So um, I'll have the burner, I'll have the file, I'll have any software that you need in the descriptions. <clears throat> so sorry, so don't worry about that. So yeah, um, and then. So yeah, you uh, have to get that stuff and then format, and then um, the uh, file is actually going to take a long time to download, like uh, two hours, so have some spare time, and um, then to install it fully, it's going to take about two hours as well, so you're going to have to have some time on your hands, so um, then, I'll, then I'll show you the, uh, the um, programs here in a, in a second. And for those of you who don't know what Linux is, Linux is a uh, operating system. It's like like um like the Mac or Windows operating system. It's free, which is the big plus in this. And um, they have hundreds of distributions or different versions of Linux that come with different programs that suit your needs. Uh, so this one, it's going to be Ubuntu, which um, it's it's pretty much it it's um it's pretty much everything you need. But if you want more stuff, then they got a program list that you can go into. Um, so yeah, Linux is free operating system. You can check it out at linux.com. I'll have that link in the description. And so yeah, if, um, uh, it's not like pay like a hundred dollars like Windows or something. So you know, it's all free. And um, I'm just gonna hit enter, and it's gonna take me to this downloads thing. And you're gonna save it as an ISO file. And pretty much just save it to your um, desktop, but it is 600 megabytes, so it's gonna take a while, so about two hours. And then, so you're just gonna save it. And um, hold on. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's done, right there. Okay. And then you don't open it at all. You don't do anything to it. Okay. Then you're gonna go to um, this other link, Infra Recorder. And um, it's on a downloads page. But what you, da what you do is you download it, and it's gonna be able, it's gonna burn your ISO file. Um, one thing that you're gonna need is a uh, a CD to put this on. So this is what Info Recorder is right up there. Um, that's what that's what it's gonna look like, and you're gonna have to burn it. So um, I already made my CD, but uh, yeah, the the um it will take a while to um, download the the file of the of the uh, X Ubuntu, but uh, the uh, burning won't take that long. Um, another thing, okay, I'm gonna open up the Info Recorder. Okay, right here, you see at the bottom it has this little thing where you can drag and drop to make a compilation. You are not going to do that for this. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Actions, Burn Image, and you're going to go down on your desktop where you save wherever you save the file, and you're gonna click on the. X Ubuntu, and it's see right here. You can save as 
I can um, uh, type of files you can get with ISO. So do not drag it into this portion right here. Do not do that. It will not work. Okay, what you need to do is burn the image right here. Go under Actions, Burn Image, and select the file to burn on there. Okay, that won't that won't take that long. So um, next, I'm going to show you how to uh, when to install it on the PS3. So uh, yeah. All right. By this point in time, you probably should have downloaded and um, burned the CD. Um, with the uh, burning software and this is my CD right here and um, so we're just going to put in the PS3 and um, by this point in time you should also have backed up um, pretty much everything and formatted um, as you saw in the first part of the video so I'm just going to show you this okay so now you're going to go down and you're going to go down to system settings go all the way down to install other OS and it will scan and it should pop up a disk right there and I've already done this so I'm not going to show you but uh, one thing you have to um, you, have, you have to have that um, you have to have that partition created the 10 gigs for the OS to go on to um, the uh, installation does take a while. You are going to need your USB keyboard and mouse for that. Mostly the keyboard, though, um, because it's if you've been on the com like if you've seen on a computer the boot stuff. It's like a blue screen. It looks like a 1980s kind of computer, but it'll it'll walk you through all the stuff that you need. And um, during this, do not unplug anything that is plugged into the um, the PS3, like. Um, if you have like your hard drive connected, don't unplug that, or else you will get a red screen saying, um, you know, this this will fail. You have to uh, reinstall it. So don't unplug anything um, because it will cancel the um, installation. So the installation does take a while, and um, when you uh, boot it up, it it'll. Um, It'll uh, be like, uh, if you've ever seen Linux, well, I'll show you in the last part of this video what it looks like. Um, and, um, yeah, so, um, another thing, when in doubt, this is when in doubt, when it's fully installed, and you want to get back to your PS3 um, XMB bar like this, what you do is you, um, you can do a manual shutoff, or um, you can... Uh, do a um, I think you can hold it down for two two uh two beeps on the uh, PS3, but you can do like a turn off straight from the back. Either one is fine. But to turn it on to go back to the PS3, this is the important part. You have to hold the um, power button down for two beeps, and then it'll go back to the uh, PS3 X and B. So don't get all um, scared when it can't do it because um, that's one surefire way to get back to the PS3. Another way is to um, type in boot-game-os but the double click or double beep is a surefire way it's not gonna fail way. Okay so um, yeah the installation does take a while uh, you gotta pretty much be there for it all um, so yeah don't unplug anything um, and I'll show you it here in a minute. Alright, so at um, this point in time you should have installed everything and um, should have got here. Alright, at the top it'll say Linux Penguin and I have all these processes and it says enter to start the default system and I have to take the CD out because if you leave the CD in after you've installed it it'll try to install it again. So we're gonna press enter and it'll do all these processes And then it should start up. It says loading. This takes a while. Then it'll bring you to this Xubuntu screen with um, login stuff that you've created during the installation, choosing a username and a password. The uh, username has to be in lower caps. 
I probably already told you that. So it's just kind of going through all the processes right now. It'll say, it's like checking all these things and it's saying okay. So then, it's almost here. Kind of takes a while. And there's a mouse. And I can move it around if I want to. But it'll bring you to this nice little screen and you type in the username and then your password. And it'll start it up. Sorry, there's a little black bar running across the screen. But yeah, this is Linux. It's a great operating system. You can hook this up to your monitor and do whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks.